the Mesquite SEC trail system phase two. Uh, Mesquite General Contracting began construction February 4th and it's a 90 day construction period so the completion date is May 4th. They completed the, this right here is the trailhead at uh, right near Ben Franklin and Lower Flat Top. Uh, the, the grading's done, they started uh, pouring curb and gutter and um, the grading is done on the, the asphalt trail that was shown in the previous picture. And uh, they'll be starting to lay asphalt that on that um, in the next week or so. The rough trail section, I mean, I think you guys know the project, but for, for those out there that don't, there's, there's a section of asphalt trail along lower flat top. And then running off of that asphalt trail are rough trails for the more rugged hiker. Um, these these are not, some of them are not easy trails. It, we wanted to give a, a different experience for the, the hikers that we really haven't found around the ski. So these uh, rough trail sections are actually almost complete. There's, there's just a couple sections that need some concrete, that need some steps to get, um, to get through the sand. Um, and some handrails because, like I said, they are, they are quite rough to get through. Um, we're working with MGC to do, add some educational signage into the project. That'll go along the rough trails. And uh, this is a requirement of the biological opinion for the regional park, so we'll be able to kind of hit two stones in one there. Um, and um, so that's there. Next project is the Haven Park Splash Pad. I know a lot of people are looking forward to this project. We have um, the project's out to bid, and bid opening will be on the 19th of March, and we hope to award this project on the 26th of March at the next council meeting. Um, due to the estimated cost provided by the engineer, staff had to decrease the size of this project. We were, you know, came to you guys with this big, wonderful project, and just because of the cost, we, we did have to decrease, but we Bill, we have provided a, uh, a splash pad that can still hold 100 to 150 children. Um, that's 3,800 square feet of splash pad. The equipment building, fencing, sidewalk, landscaping, and a relocation of utilities. We also include a pump station for the, for the pump that um, irrigates the park. So that's going to help with the aeration of the current pond, which has been uh, a significant problem. We also have an ad alternate as a bathroom. We hope, with, if costs come in low enough, we'll be able to add bathrooms into this project. The next project is the Pioneer Shared Use Path. Um, design of the path is complete with uh, NDOT is still reviewing it, but we don't anticipate to have many issues with them. Uh, we have worked with and received approval from the Falcon Ridge and Mesquite Vistas Community Associations. We did find out that funding for construction of this project has been cut. Um, not cut, let me say put on hold. Uh, the funding was cut to the Transportation Enhancement Funding. NDOT is working with us to find funding for the project. It may just take a little longer than anticipated, but uh, this project will be completed. <coughs> the next project is Exit 118. Uh, the environmental assessment for Exit 118 is waiting for final approval from the Federal Highway Administration. That, we really have no idea how long that will take. Um, but staff is actively working on identifying funding opportunities through NDOT and the RTC for construction of this interchange. The next project is the Bunkerville Diversion Project. Uh, NRCS is providing funding for this project. It's anticipated to begin the end of May, 1st of June, and all permitting and environmental clearances have been received. Final plans and bid documents are being completed, and we hope to go out to bid at the end of March. Anticipated completion of this project is September 2013. And our final project is the SEC Sidewalk Enhancement Project. 
We have, we did bid this item back in August of 2012, but due to some time constraints and some prevailing wage issues we were dealing with, we, uh, we asked council not to award the project. So um, we, we now have a, a clearer calendar and uh, we have, we're planning on going back out to bid in April, just 2013. And what this is, is the removal of the decomposed grant Decomposed granite along the along the <coughs> edges of the um, synthetic, which is currently caught the winds blowing it onto the synthetic and causing significant damage. So we hope to alleviate that by <coughs> by putting in these pavers and this this concrete. We estimate it to cost around 150 thousand, and it's been budgeted in the park improvements. So these are our our current projects. Um, if you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them or find them out for you. Got some handouts for the papers if you'd like. Councilor Ramson, do you have a question? Yeah, Robin, real quick. Uh, thank you for that. The, on the uh, the rough trail system, mm -hmm. we have uh, like signage at the trail heads where you know you can park or where you drive along the road that says this trail is this trail in the lane. Yes. There will be. Those, yeah, directional signage is already included. It's just the educational signage which we will be adding right. to the public plans. Okay, good. And then the, and the final question is that I know we've reduced the scope of the splash pad. Is it is it um, easily expanded in the future? I mean, is it going to be designed to where it can be embellished? Yes. Uh, we cut the areas we cut were we were cut the Ronald system, which we all loved, but they, we just couldn't fit everything in. So that was a, a section of the project that could easily be added in. The Ronald's an additional pump, and you can add it in. It's, it can all be set. Up. Um, the other things we cut, we cut you know sidewalk, and we're putting in landscaping instead. We're cutting uh, shade structures, benches. Um, picnic tables, all which can be easily put back in. Great, thanks. Mm -hmm. On the, uh, the path itself, uh, the uh, trail system, are we having any uh, lighting on that portion of the trail system? Or are we going to- On the lower flat top? Yep. No, no there's way. no power out to that okay. area. Thanks, just wondering. Any further questions? Okay, seeing none. Thank you. Okay.